Yes, that's two different sizes of slip-on Nikes. I love that pair. Called All Stars. They got a slight, light green tint to them. And then we got some Dornbeckers right here. Air Maxes. And the majority of all of these are brand new DS so got all the boxes original nothing wrong with any of them call this old silver tongue uh, I knew that wasn't those seven to eight and a half, but we still got all these other ones. Just letting you see the inside. That's all. Nothing major. This is a used pair here. And to be honest, I haven't even wiped it off, cleaned it or anything yet. All I gotta do is do a little bit of brushing on it and take my pick and get that stuff out. But anyways, I don't think that that's too much of a concern. Or should I say, no I don't. And then we have bigger sizes, which is, this is my eight and a half row. So, if you guys are looking for eight and a halves from this pink, what is this, a three? Not really sure what that is, whatever. Really don't matter, I just think it's a cool ass shoe. From that one, all the way down. Every one of these are brand new have never been tried on. This one, one person last week tried it on, but the other one is still factory laced. You can tell everything is still extremely clean. And I'll fix these laces, you know, put a nice little factory tie to it and put it back again. But there's our eight and a halves. Like I said, all of them over there on the top row outside of the cases are all sevens, except for old great silver, silver back over there. That's eight and a half, which needs to go over here on this side. And now we have I believe this is some more eight and a halfs right here. I just fixed this room today. I had some help. Okay, we got eights. Got eight right here. This is a used shoe. You can tell by the inside. You can sit there and pick all that out though. This is not used. This is a cool ass pair of shoes right here. I think they're uh, Fearlesses. Um, not really positive. Got some Air Max. I just like the colorway, so I went ahead and ordered them. 
anybody wants to know anything on prices for anything you can either uh, message me or comment through YouTube if you want which of course is karmskicks.com or should I say karma's kicks not dot com that would be a website jackass but anyway all these ones in the back right here back row are ones that are up here that for some reason people don't know how to keep boxes but I'll pick them up anyways well all of these up here them two right there I know that one right there is uh, a seven and a half yeah and then we got a an 11 right here obviously try it on and then we got should be nine not really sure what that is it's actually is it really rubbed off no size 12 hello all right so we got some some 12s up here no when's it start getting smaller yeah here's an eight what you want to call that S silver heel but anyway these the only reason i'm checking is because uh these weren't put up here correctly that's a nine and a half and this is like a seven eight and a half okay he's just got big feet for a little guy but anyway we got some lebrons i know them are a 12 so are them uh uh what are they called royal blues and then my phantoms them are nines and then uh, a pair of uh, Nike Air Br Brigades they're nines and then honestly I don't know what this Jordan is called but I picked it up a long time ago it's one of my first Jordans when I first started wearing them about I don't know four years ago three years ago something but here's a shoe that for some reason people supposedly really like it's brand new never been worn there's just no box I don't think but if it's that important of a shoe then I guess the box shouldn't matter too much here's a company that a lot of you guys probably don't know what it is it's called liftoff obviously and if i can find that particular shoe well here's one of them the other one is a gray colorway this is what everyone would probably call a unc blue colorway with a rocket on it there's not one single Nike symbol on it, but they do have the profile right there. So we got, we covered all of them and I don't think we covered these right here. So we have nines. Start off with the Good old low top vans. Sell them for, I don't know, 25 bucks. I got them from a Nike outlet. They were not that expensive. But if I get $25 out of them, that'd be, that'd be fine. These are used. I like 13s and I like this colorway. The, uh, I call it Niobium. Other people, I don't 
really know what they call it, but it's something different. But anyways, pretty clean for a used shoe. I haven't touched it with a brush, not yet. I picked these Pumas up. It was one of my son's birthdays. We went to the mall and we we're gonna pick him up a pair of shoes. Well, you know, daddy had to buy a cheap pair of shoes just because I had to. Plus, they're, they're a slick pair of shoes. I like, I love Pumas, but this is a definitely different style Puma than I'm used to having for myself. My laceless Adidas. To the streets. Got some Nikes back here. Some fives right there. Okay. Well, I didn't know that we had a silverback camouflage tongue. And we got the turf orange and the um, whatever blue. I can't remember. But this is one of my shoes right here. Like I said, I like brigades. And this particular shoe is one of my favorite ones right here. I just absolutely love how fat it is. Still clean. Still got the sticker in it and print. And there's really nothing but I was tattooing and I can get them spots off. But again, these are my shoes, so I'm not too concerned about uh, selling them. I would, and I'd get them spots out. But again, I'm not too concerned with it. And I picked these things up. People like blue. And uh, this is a, just a a different type of uh, Air Max, I believe. But not something I would I would wear. And these are sevens, I know. These things are tiny. And it's like they never warm at all. Matter of fact, let's check this out. No, these aren't worn, they're brand new. There ain't a single sock lint in here. Oops. Let's see. Not a single sock lint in there. That thing right down there is still crisp. <laughs> kind of looks like somebody rear-ended him. <laughs> but anyways, I could brush that up, get that little scuff mark off of it. However that happened, probably from getting thrown around. We got caught in the rain not too long ago at an event. And this pair right here is actually pretty damn cool. Makes me want to wear it. When I pay a bunch of money for a pair of shoes, this is kind of something that that I'm expecting. May, I mean, I'm not sitting here saying that this is exactly my style. Because it's it's not. But there's a lot of there's a lot of shoe to this. And I like that little middle area. And I like it. Okay. It's got reflective stuff where the aerospace is and I honestly can't even remember what size these are. I figured they'd be nine if they're sitting right here. So that's what I was trying to do. Where's the damn size tag on these? I always try to hide them somewhere sometimes. Always sometimes. Hey, it's flapping in the wind down there. Let's see what we got. 
Where are we at? Damn you. Sometimes it's, it's just so damn hard to get down in there without undoing everything. Nine and a half. Okay. So I could wear these. I may, you know, because I'm always up for change. And I love Air Maxes, so I really loved these. I think it was the back that I liked the most. That that look right, that profile right there. Let's see, right there, or this one. Damn, damn, boy! Tell you what, that's a that's a nice fucking looking shoe. I don't give a damn what anybody says. Damn, look at that shit. Make you look like feel like you can run forever. But no, I just like the look of them. They're just awesome. I don't care if they're $30 or $230. It really just don't matter. Then we got these things right here. These things look like some... I like them. They're growing on me. That's, that's what I can say. They are brand new. Never been worn. And they are actually growing on me world tour okay that's what must be what these are called and then this is a mesh feel type material but that's a nice pair this is another one of my shoes that I picked up a long time ago something about the the flat black the patent and or the patent black and then this the carpet this is the this was the seller right here to me that's why i like six rings it's just i don't know it's weird it's it's got carpet on it that's what the fuck that is it's fucking carpet but i like it for some reason it's that one little difference in the shoe that will sell me on a lot of pairs. But I have him up here for display. He is mine. None of y'all want it anyway. Look at all that sock went down there. You don't want to fuck with that. But anyway, we got another used pair right here. Uh, gray and black color wit with a silver swoosh and and wings and jump man on the back. Bam. Oh shoot. There we go. Yeah. Stitching. No print. But I do like the inside of it. It's to me it's different. Maybe you guys are used to seeing that, but I'm not. Again, I just started this whole shoe collecting thing. So I step back this way a couple of hairs and show you a long view of what I've been doing all day. All the boxes up there are shoes that are inside the cases. Just because they're shoes inside my cases does not mean that they're the most expensive shoes that I have. They may be, for all I know, but I do know some of the Jordan 1s that I got are more than some of the ones that are in them cases. And that silver and black one over there is shiny. Let's see what happens when we get up a little closer to it. That motherfucker is glowing. Oh my God. That is nuts. All right, well, this is where my little station is for a second or two before I uh, set it up somewhere else. Probably in this area over here where them other glowing ones are. 
All right, oh, we got something glowing down there too. All these down here are just shoes that don't have boxes and I just haven't um, gone through them all. It doesn't mean that any of them are worse than the ones that are up here. It just means that I don't have room up here. And these are the ones that I favor a little bit more than the ones down there. But all of them down there are still good shoes. I'm gonna run through the cases real quick if I can and just tell you which ones are mine and you know a little bit of this or that but i got me some customs i love fours and i saw them so i went ahead and and grabbed them and they are up for sale though even though some are mine doesn't mean i'm not going to sell them and then these right here 2007s Had to pick them up. They were like size 12, I, I believe. Size 11. Shoestring hanging out. We'll fix all that later. But anyway, we got, picked up that pair right there, which should be um, a women's 11. And then not sure what this one is either. I done forgot. These things have been up here for a minute. Size 10. And then uh, the, the zooms. And that, that toe box is what kills me. I don't like them frays. I think that shit's actually kind of ugly. And the, and the tongue and everything. That's starting to grow on me. But honestly, it looks like an unfinished product. But this one is a one piece. Those of you that's never seen one of these, this, there's no sections on here. It's all one piece. All drawn on here. One solid shoe. And I actually got that on accident. I'll tell you that story later. But then we got some Easter ESs, size 10. And that's a good shoe for uh, Easter. And matter of fact, this is actually two different pairs of uh, shoes, but they're the exact same shoe, just a different color. And they happen to be both Easter colors so my buddy skated in the other pair that he put together and he's had these sitting and now he doesn't skate no more and doesn't know what to do with them so I'm a 30 year veteran of skateboard I'll take them I think they're worth more to me just having them than they are money wise but anyway, here's them liftoffs. And here's another really cool pair right here I had to pick up. I just really like sevens. It, it, I mean, I, I believe that's a seven. Again, I'm not no Einstein on expert on Jordans or anything. I just know very little. Then we got a used pair of Cork purple and white, or uh, purple metallic and white, but it is a cork purple also. And then we got a pair of maize. I wanted the, what are they called? The um, one loves or no loves, uh, but I, Grab the wrong ones, but I still like that pair. Someone tried to talk me out of the the Parises. I went back a week later, said the hell with that, I want a pair anyway. I just like them. 
I don't go off of other people's opinions. And Topaz, that's always a very clean shoe. And then the Thunders, this is a very clean shoe. Um, is it cool gray? I don't know if it's cool gray or wolf gray. Either way, brand new, size nine. And then bam, brand new, size nine. These things, well, they're silver and snakeskin swooshes with black soles. Very clean shoe. And yes, I don't even think they've been tried on. I think they're nines, but I could be very wrong on this pair, which I think I am. Where are you at? hate it when they're just tucked up in there. Let's see. <laughs> it's right there, but I just cannot seem to get it. It's holding a stupid phone and trying to find something that's already difficult enough just to get in there. Eleven. Jesus. Anyways, that's a nice pair of shoes for somebody who wears eleven. Pick these up for myself. I gotta clean them, I gotta do all kinds of stuff to them and fill in that chip right there and that one right there. Everything else just needs a little bit of scrubbing, star loss, heel drag. I'm not too concerned. And of course, creasing. But I knew that before I bought them. And the hairs. I'll keep one pair and I'll sell the other one. Or I'll keep one pair, and I'll sell the other one. Whichever, whichever. They're both the same size. And we got, uh, I can't remember what they called them. Uh, shit, but anyways. Still a nice looking pair of shoes. I know, I know, I know that damn package of laces right there but these are different laces so it makes me just wonder I mean the jump man looks good some people say that the R and the D aren't supposed to join together some people say that it is supposed to join together. Some of them are, and they are authentic. Some of them aren't, and they are still authentic. I don't give a rat's ass what anyone says. The stitching down there, I don't feel like fucking with, but it's good stitching, nice stitching. <clears throat> you can tell fake replica stitching from anything. I've had these for a couple of years now, a couple few years actually. Never been even tried on, nothing. That's an old vintage pair right there. Very good condition. Some Carmine's brand new, DS. 
Got some starfish right down there. Got some big boys right here. I think them are like size 12, size nine, nine and a half, which I really love that pair. And these right here, I believe they're called the All Stars, but I don't care what they're called. I call them badass. Just clean as hell. See all that shimmer? Damn, look at the leather. Ooh, look at that carbon. Bling, bling, bling. Yep. All right, and then we got some big old yellow and browns. Yeah. So we really got a, every style that you can really think of, and we're not done. Video's going on 31 minutes, and I don't know what part of this I can actually get taken out to save time. So these are all just women's sizes, or women's shoes over here. Um, I'll have them laid out later. And then I lined up all of these over here. These are all size nine. Starting with the Asics, Globes, Adidas, Fives, Reeboks, uh, Air Force, um, Laser, I think that's what that one's called right there. Uh, uh, man, something gray, of course. They're fours. And then we got what are these? Uh, uh, Concord? No. Are they Concords? Not really. I uh, got a couple fake pairs of these one time, and I told myself I wasn't getting them again. But uh, you guys take a look at these and let me know. You know? I know you're supposed to look at that sequence right there. And then right here. And then one of these straps is supposed to be a certain length from the patent leather to the, the lace outlet. I do know that. But I, as of this moment, I can't think of what one it is. And then this jump man back here. Looks pretty straight. The 23 is a metal. It's not stitched or anything. I know that there's something to do with the back right here, that profile. That you're supposed to be able to tell that uh, where the patent leather is cut going down and um, the bottoms I think were one of the hardest things to try to figure out uh, besides somebody stepping in shit or something either way like I said they're not all clean yet some of the used ones I just get lazy, don't want to do it. But anyway, here's some more uh, fire reds. And then we got some Yeezys. These will be the 6.5s. Where are the nines at? I have a size nine also. But anyway, here we got some, uh, some bread too, or some breads. Uh, Con Concord bread, whatever. Some uh, Nike outlet shoe. They're not Jordans, they're just Nikes. But still, it's a nice pair of shoe for a kid. Go trampling through mud or whatever. Or you can get them some 
little guys uh, Air Force Ones. Then we got some little little tiny Adidas shell toes. I picked them up for 25 bucks. So if I get $30 out of it, one of your kids could be blinging with the gold Adidas shell toes. You can never, ever, ever go wrong with shell toes. Oh, we got glitter. We got gold glitter on the bottom. What? Or got a younger one. This is a 13C right here. And these things are sick. Okay. Makes me not even want to sell them. Want to hang them up on my rear view mirror. But anyways, we got, I saw these and I had to pick them up. Black and white. They look like pandas, but I believe these are Steelers. So, I like them because of black and white. Got the camouflage, Adidas. I get them. They got a black sole to them. Just a really nice looking pair of shoes. I like, uh, the hell? Uh-oh, I gotta turn that air conditioner a different direction. Uh, I like air, uh, air conditioning. Um, camouflage, so I had to, this is one of my first pairs of brigades, and I, this was my everyday, you can't tell, I mean, these things are clean as a motherfucker, I didn't do anything but walk and ride a bike in them, when you ride a bike, you're not touching concrete. Got some more of them blue ones over here. We got some gray Jordans. Mids. Then if we step over here real quick. God, this video is getting long. Uh, we have all kinds of different Air Max to more Air Max. And yes, all of these are new. Them are not new. Not new. Uh, definitely not new. Nope, brand new. Yep. Uh, some LeBrons down there, brand new. Uh, some mids. Some more Air Force. Old school polka dots down there. Uh, more Air Max. And then... Uh, bunch of other ones down here then we got some Mars brand new uh, then the green ones that were used the white and blacks brand new oh my god I still gotta I still gotta organize all this and this is mine oh and then we got a pair of white low tops down right there I think these are what, 12? This is a big shoe. Okay, it's too tight. I'm not even. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, these are the 12s. Damn, things look long. Anyway, these are mine. These are Die Bucks. He's an artist. Here's the gray lift offs that I was talking about. And my bodegas, them are pretty much my everyday now. These Adidas, I've taken a couple of pictures with them. These uh, Jordan, all black, a little bit of gold speckle on them. Them used to be one of my everydays. And my Ferrari Pumas that I have yet to wear. Yes, I go through StockX, I go through GOAT, I go through hundreds of personal people. Just to get what I got. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off now. If you can, subscribe. Karma's Kicks. Go to Facebook or Instagram. And I have a Karma's Kicks. 
for both of them and Cam. Yep, I'm one of your guys. And if y'all watch Cam's Kicks, this is a limited edition. Fuck Cam t-shirt. If you watch his shows, you'll know what this is. And tell me, am I a jackass for paying $80 for this shirt? I think there was only eight made. I'd like to hear your comments. Y'all have a good night. If you even got this far, thank you so much. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Karma's Cakes.